What is Ansible? Basically, Ansible is a suite of software tools that enables you to perform infrastructure as code. It's open source and it enables you to do software provisioning, configuration management and application deployment. It's open source and it's free to use. Simple as that. Hi, my name is Roger Perkin and I'm going to run through what is Ansible and why you should be using it. So basically, Ansible is software that you install onto a Linux host. You cannot install Ansible on Windows, it has to be Linux. Um, I'll talk about a few ways around that at the end of the video. And then you define within Ansible, uh, I'll show you here, so you define a playbook. So this is where you write a playbook out of the things that you want to automate, like install a software package on 10 servers, uh, remove a package, configure a network device, any task that you want to perform. Then the inventory is literally a list of devices that you want to automate. Then your Ansible here, this is the software package, you run the playbook and it goes off and configures all your devices. Now these could be, like I said, Linux servers and this is where Ansible started. It started off for server management and it was automating Linux boxes. Uh, it's now you can automate Windows. So you can automate all your Windows desktops and very popular now is network devices. So Ansible is one of the most popular network automation platforms as well. So that's basically in a nutshell what Ansible is. It's going to move this diagram and we'll start with a new one. So Ansible uh, was an open source software package and it was purchased by Red Hat in 2015. Red Hat then started the development of Ansible uh, and have put a lot of effort into it. And after that, it was then, or Red Hat was then purchased by IBM in 2019. So technically Ansible comes under IBM, but it's known to be under the Red Hat banner. Now, I'm going to show you where to go. Literally, you go to ansible.com. That is the point of reference for anything Ansible. And you can see here that it's listed as Red Hat Ansible. Um, and they call their product Automation for Everyone. So it's free, open source automation for your IT infrastructure. Now, there are a few facts that we need to go through. So Ansible is written in Python. So it's written in Python, but you don't need to know any Python to run Ansible. So the back end of it is all is a Python program. Everything that you have to do to run Ansible, like I said before, is contained within the playbook, and playbooks are written in YAML. So that's what you have to learn is a bit of YAML. Um, it's a markup language, and that's where you define everything that you need to do within Ansible. Now, I said that Ansible has to be installed on a Linux server, and it cannot be installed on Windows. So you can't install natively Ansible on Windows. But if you've got a, a Windows device that you want to install Ansible on, uh, then it's very easy to do. You can either use the Windows subsystem for Linux, uh, WSL. That enables you to run uh, a Linux shell underneath your Windows deployment. You can run Ansible in that. Or you can use a virtualization platform uh, like VM where workstation that that will let you do it so anything where you can run a virtual instance 
but it cannot be installed directly onto Windows. Now, the, the more interesting feature about this is the fact that Ansible is very lightweight. So typically, people will install, to get started, they'll install Ansible on their laptop. So you can just, on your laptop, install the Ansible. And you can run pretty much all your automation from your laptop. It only requires SSH connectivity. So you only need to get SSH to your target device. So whether that's a network device, a server, or as I said before, a Windows device. That's the only thing you need to do. It can be up and running within a few hours. Um, and it runs on the command line. So everything you do is command line. That's the free version of Ansible. Now, on top of the free version of Ansible, there are also um, paid versions, paid supported versions. And the current version of Ansible is called the Ansible Automation Platform. Now, the Ansible Automation Platform is a suite of tools, automation platform. So this is a suite of tools that gives you extra functionality to run your Ansible jobs. Uh, those features mainly are scheduling. So you can schedule a job to run. Um, security, so you can actually define who can run your playbooks. And the main other one is logging. So you can actually track what uh, the Ansible jobs that have been done so you know who's done what. Now Ansible Automation Platform is um, a paid version. So this is money. So that's going to cost you, you money. Uh, if you don't have the money and you want to look at the functionality of Ansible, there are other options. So there is a product called AWX. Now this is the open source version of what was Ansible Tower. <laughs> Getting confusing. So Ansible Tower was the first incarnation of the GUI managed paid supported version of Ansible. Now Ansible Tower has been now replaced by Ansible Automation Platform, which has given much more functionality into the whole tower ecosystem. But if you want to experiment with the GUI front end, then have a look at AWX. That is the open source version of the GUI version of Ansible. So my name is Roger Perkin. Like I said, I'm actually a network DevOps engineer based in the UK. And in this series of videos, I'm going to go through how to use Ansible um, and getting started with Ansible and primarily for using Ansible for network automation. So I hope that throughout this video, you've now learned what is Ansible and basically what it does. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.